and affairs. Prime Minister Mohammad Shehbaz Sharif uh, arrives in Doha, Qatar this morning on a two-day official visit. Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister Mohammad Ishaq Dar is accompanying the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister will hold bilateral meetings with His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Sani, Amir of the State of Qatar, and Muhammad bin Abdul Rahman bin Jasim Al Sani, Prime Minister and Foreign Minister of Qatar. The focus of these meetings will be on bilateral cooperation in trade and investment and discussion on regional developments. The Prime Minister arrived in Doha from Riyadh. Uh, Saudi Arabia, where he attended the eighth edition of the Future Investment Initiative themed Infinite Horizons, Investing Tomorrow, Shaping Tomorrow. In his address at the conference, the Prime Minister emphasized Pakistan's commitment to leveraging investments in artificial intelligence, education and health to drive human advancement. He stated that by investing in AI, Pakistan would enhance productivity by leveraging it for advancement of education and health, empowering future generations, and shaping a future that is inclusive, innovative, and sustainable. The Prime Minister held a meeting with the Saudi Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Mohammed bin Salman, the two leaders assessed the ongoing bilateral engagements, especially in the follow-up to the decisions taken in previous high-level meetings held in Makkah and Riyadh in April 2024. They reaffirmed economic and strategic partnership between Pakistan and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The two leaders exchanged views on regional developments. The Prime Minister appreciated the kingdom's efforts to promote regional peace and stability in the Middle East. Uh, the Prime Minister also met with the Prime Minister of uh, Vietnam, the Minister for Investment of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and advisor at the Saudi Royal Court, Mohammed bin Maziad al Tawajiri, and entrepreneurs at FFI 8th edition conference. The Speaker of the Federation Council of Russia, v Valentina Matvienko, visited Pakistan from 27th to 29th of October at the inter invitation of Chairman Senate Sayyid Yusuf Raza Gilani. She held separate meetings with President Asif Ali Zardari and Prime Minister Muhammad Shehbaz Sharif, Chairman of the Senate of Pakistan, Sayyid Yusuf Raza Gilani. She also addressed the Senate of Pakistan. The visit is a manifestation of continuing engagement and dialogue between Pakistan and the Russian Federation at the leadership level. The two sides will continue to engage in bilateral parliamentary exchanges. Pakistan strongly condemns the recent Israeli attacks on Lebanon's Bekaa Valley and Baalbek region resulting in the tragic loss of civilian lives, including women and children, and the displacement of over a million people. These airstrikes are a violation of Lebanon's national sovereignty and territorial integrity and constitute a serious violation of international humanitarian law and the UN Charter. Pakistan also unequivocally condemns the continuing Israeli assault against the people of northern Gaza and the indiscriminate airstrike on Beth Leia, which has resulted in the tragic loss of over a hundred Palestinian lives, including women and children. Targeting densely populated residential areas without warning, day after day, with absolute impunity, reflects Israeli disdain for international law and human suffering. The siege of Gaza and uninterrupted Israeli attacks are piling on heaps of misery, devastation, and death upon the already battered people of Gaza. At a time when the people of Palestine are in urgent need of humanitarian relief and assistance, Israeli attempts to dismantle the operations of UNRWA 
are unacceptable. Preventing UNRWA from carrying out its vital tasks is a manifestation of Israel's systematic campaign to dehumanize the Palestinian people. We call for an immediate cessation of hostilities in Palestine and Lebanon, protection of civilians, and unrestricted humanitarian access to those in urgent need. The international community must step in to end Israel's genocidal campaign against the Palestinians in Gaza. We also urge the international community to hold Israel accountable for its war crimes and crimes against humanity. Pakistan remains committed to providing humanitarian assistance to the people of Lebanon and Palestine. Last week, Pakistan sent two more plane loads of humanitarian aid to Lebanon. Thus far, four special cargo planes with essential humanitarian supplies have arrived in Lebanon from Pakistan. Our support will continue. On the 27th of October, marking the 77th anniversary of the arrival of Indian troops in Jammu and Kashmir, the government and people of Pakistan reaffirmed their unwavering solidarity with the people of Kashmir. The Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister has addressed letters to the leadership of the United Nations and OIC, highlighting the ongoing situation in the Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. He has called for full implementation of the relevant UN Security Council resolutions and urged international action to address human rights concerns, including the release of Kashmiri political prisoners and activists. Pakistan will continue to extend political, diplomatic and moral support to our Kashmiri brothers and sisters for the just and peaceful settlement of the Jammu and Kashmir dispute in accordance with the UN Security Council resolutions. I thank you all.